There are already thousands of great videos out there on how to ride a motorcycle off-road, about the fundamentals of body positioning and technique and everything and anything in between. Now, skill building is obviously critical, but as I've hosted schooling rallies that teach the fundamentals of riding, I've noticed that new dirt riders who embrace a few core attitudes grow their skills much faster than those who focus on the physical alone. The last schooling rally I hosted with Warren, Stu, Mario, and Andy was a prime example of how a great attitude can go a long way. Warren arrived already a great rider. Stu and Mario were both familiar with street bikes, just recently getting into the dual sport side of things. Andy started riding just three months before the rally. Well, regardless of their skill level, past experience, age, bike, or natural ability, I believe it was their attitudes that helped them to advance so quickly in this rally. The first traits of any great rider, whether brand new or grizzly and seasoned, is to be teachable. That means being humble and listening. It shouldn't be a surprise that what I cover at my schooling rallies is very similar to what is shown in many skill builder videos and what is done at other rallies, but with live feedback. I explain the fundamental, I demonstrate it myself, then I go and I watch each rider up close and give real-time feedback over the headsets, all on camera, so that they can watch it as they practice later. The riders who consistently improve the most on these rallies are the ones who listen carefully and apply that specific feedback. They're not concerned that a new riding position might look weird or feel different. They practice until the new body positions start to feel natural, and they erase the self-taught positions that were holding them back. And by the end of the day, their diligence in the drills pays off because we can ride far more advanced trails. Even if you've been riding for a long time, it can be really beneficial to go back to the basics. A few years ago, I had a surgery that kept me off the bikes for a few months, and I wanted to start fresh. So I recruited my good friend and amazing writer, Gabe, of Torture Test Magazine, to go over the fundamentals and coach me for just one day. No lie, I was faster, more in control, chose better lines, and rode far smoother after that one day than I had in the last five years of self-taught technique. Now Gabe is ridiculously fast, but he's not a pro, and neither am I, not by a long shot. But just riding with somebody who knew and taught the fundamentals well made a striking difference for me. The second attribute that riders who advance very quickly show is confidence. Think of the last time you crashed but didn't get injured or damaged your bike, even though you were the exact same physically with the same skills and knowledge of how to ride, no injury, same bike, all that. Did your riding after that crash get better or worse? For me, I struggle after just a tip over, even though the only changes are in my mind. When my confidence fades, I don't use my momentum like I should. I second guess my lines, I ride slower, I'm more hesitant, I jab on the brakes more, I get tunnel vision, I make the cardinal sin of hanging my feet off the pegs. There's far less flow and far more mistakes in my riding and it's all 100% mental. At my rallies, riders who show more confidence always excel faster. Andy, Stu, Mario, and Warren are proof after practicing the drills, they immediately trusted in their motorcycles. They trusted in their newly learned skills, confident that what they just learned would propel them up and over the obstacles we faced. When we approached something difficult, they didn't hesitate or overanalyze. They just rode up, assessed the situation, and then tackled it. Once they learned new skills and felt confident on the tougher terrain, we kicked it up even harder. And by the end of the rally, almost everybody echoed that phrase that I absolutely love to hear, that they were able to do something that they never thought possible. So do whatever it takes to boost and maintain your confidence because it spills directly into trait number three, 
the ability to stay positive. Writing is naturally a positive experience, but sometimes things go wrong. Crashing, getting stuck, bike problems, those are parts of writing. So we've got to do everything we can to stay positive. Whether it's writing with headsets so you can tell stories and bust jokes and have a laugh with each other while you ride, or listening to great music, or just enjoying the rap of your exhaust. Just do whatever you need to do to stay stoked and positive and confident. Laugh at your mistakes. Celebrate when you eat crap on a gnarly hill climb, but celebrate harder when you make it. Give high fives and slap each other on the backs dance around like an idiot, don't forget you are out there riding motorcycles. Life doesn't get much better. Remember where you're at and what you're blessed to be doing. Positivity leads back to confidence, and confidence obviously leads to excellent riding. And to go right along with tip three, the fourth tip is to ride as a team. I've seen this so often in the groups I ride with, and Andy, Mario, Stu, and Warren were no exception. They rode as a great unified team. Nobody jetted way out in front. Everybody looked out for each other. They helped each other up. They waited when a rider struggled. And they offered help when that help was needed. We encouraged each other. We poked fun at each other when we screwed up, but never in a mean way. We were a unified team of riders, and it felt like it. As a team, you're stronger. You can try tougher obstacles because you know somebody has your back. You can coach and listen to each other, you can learn from better riders on the team, and you can build each other's confidence. You can correct each other about riding technique and push each other to take on new challenges. You can help each other lift bikes, you can push each other up hills, reduce the fatigue, you can give support and encouragement, keep the positivity up, and have more fun. When you go on a group ride, don't just ride in close proximity to other people. Ride together. Ride as a team. Yeah. The final trait is actually memory. To remember and practice and apply the fundamentals on every single ride. It always makes me stoked when after the drills we go ride some trails and I see the riders consciously over-exaggerating the body positions that they just learned. Getting their elbows way up, really sticking those knees into the tank, hanging their butts to the outside on the turns, continually scooting forward in the cockpit, and fighting the urge to put their feet down in the gnarly stuff. It is so rewarding when somebody who had come on a schooling rally comes back to do a more advanced ride with me. I love to hear that they watched and critiqued the footage from the last rally and practiced the drills at home. I love it. And it's an example for me too. I'm blessed to host these schooling rides so that I can go back to the fundamentals. I need that. I'm not perfect at doing these things, but I get better every time I ride and consciously make myself do that. So guys, there you have it. First, be humble, teachable, and listen. Second, be confident in your bike and in your own skills. Third, do everything that you can to stay positive. Fourth, ride as a unified team and make the focus of your team to have fun. And finally, remember, remember the fundamentals and never stop learning and practicing them. If you will practice and develop these mental traits in concert with the physical practice, I promise you will be better riders, safer riders, make more friends, and enjoy the whole experience more. Thank you so much for watching, and a gigantic thanks to my patrons and producers for making content like this possible. Seriously, this video wouldn't exist without you guys because it's more of an abstract topic that probably won't get a ton of views and would get passed over by a lot of other outlets because it's not a popular topic. But I feel it's still a really important one, and I wanted to point it out. So thank you very, very much, and as always, much love, ever ride out. Thank you.